Okay, keeping in mind the roots of the system, karate, judo, jiu-jitsu, are these, uh, the base roots. So a lot of the old defenses were against karate type attacks. Okay, so the first one in the tay is defense against a straight punch to the face. My hands were down, okay, up and back, fingers, chop, kick, back, elbow, groin, lock it up, bring it through, right, left, and right. That's the original text, number one, okay? Complicated at best. So, what we're gonna do is take for the street. A little bit less complicated. It's the same side push, because very few guys walking around come from fighting and attacking you like this. Most big guys walk up and say, yo man, what you looking at? Start pushing. The movement is the same. Palm up, palm down. Opens up that neck. Move forward. Drive, knee to knee. So he bends over. Closest weapon, hammer fist. Palm as I'm moving forward. I'm gonna palm to spin his head. Put your hand in your pocket. Take him down. So I'm across his face and snap his elbow. Okay. This is the tape for, tape for the street number one. This side, please, Sam. Same side, please. You get to cross side later. So say, yo, man, hand up. Notice on this one, this hand is here, whereas on the tay it was down here. Because in the original tay, we were looking at a man doing reverse punch, front kick. So we had a hand up and a hand down. Nobody talks front kick in the street no more. Not unless they push and come through it. That's our tay eight. We'll, we'll get there. No, we won't. That's a lie. <laughs> palm up, palm down, hit the neck. Knee, hammer, palm, turn that face through and grab those eyes. Rip his eyes out, pull him down. He's going to want to look at you. If he can still see, he's going to want to look at you. So don't stomp down. Take your foot and go across his face. So he turns. And as his body's turning that way to get away from the stomp, I'm going to pull his elbow that way and snap that elbow. You want to try? So that's good. Which all of my people pick something. You guys are done. When the man is pushing you, how do you know if this guy's planning on punching you or not? Man's pushing on you. Sam just did it. I know Sam is thinking about punching me. Or at least I got a 78% chance that Sam is thinking about punching me in my face. How do I know this? What'd you say, sir? No. Do you know? He's just needing resistance. He used his left hand. Most people are right handed. If I'm thinking about punching you, I'm going to push you with my left so that my right is free to punch. It's just like a boxer jabbing, jabbing, measuring. But especially these guys who do this, he's measuring you. You understand? He's thinking about punching you. But a guy who comes up and he pushes you right hand hard, it's all about the intimidation. He might punch you. He might. But he's not thinking about it right away. Do you understand the difference in the mindset? And I could be wrong, but yo, with 78% going my way, I, 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 you know what, I might think about laying my house down the roulette table if I had a 78% 70, 70 chance of winning. You know what I'm saying? So you guess. You guess. When that man stay with the right police, he's pushing you. When he's pushing you, this is dangerous in its own right because of what the attack comes. See, nobody ever comes up and it's one attack. As you motion, heel motion, heel motion. This is what we call motion causes motion. If I motion and I do something, heel will motion as well. The question is, am I in control of your motion or are you? Everybody gets a say. Everybody's going to move. Everybody's going to motion. The question is, does he get to decide where he motions or do I get to decide where you motion? If he's pushing on me, and I do this, get your hands off. Does everybody see what just happened? Because he was coming forward, I turned the attack into a body grab. And now he's got me going backwards. And this is one of the concepts you notice. I was like, you gotta move forward, you gotta move forward, you gotta move forward. I can run faster forward than you can move backwards. If I stand still, if, you, if you're, you're dealing with a man 
and his feet are standing still, you're about to get hit. You're about to Sam can throw a punch from here and hit me. Sam's gonna have a hard time throwing a punch from there and making it count. So I want to make sure his feet are moving. I don't want his feet moving forward. <laughs> his feet are moving forward. My feet are moving backwards. He's free to start, and we're doing all this stuff. So now I gotta start biting his ear off and everything else, and I don't really want to do all that. You understand? It's harder to justify removing the side of his head with my teeth if all he did was push you. <laughs> all right? So as that man is pushing me, you bring your hand to push. Push, stretch, strong. You bring your hand up, but your fingers stay here. So as he's coming forward, he can't get that body grab. Does everybody see that? I don't want him getting that body grab on him. He cannot wrap around me, Sam. <laughs> I'm not even hitting him. I'm just putting my hand there. You can't walk forward. You, since, since Darren saw this, we got him. Uh, what was his name? Big Sean. Big Sean was like six foot five, two seventy, big, big boy, bouncing the whole nine yards. Just thought he was tough as hell. I said, oh. Yeah, you can walk through it, right? If I hit you in your face, you walk through it. He goes, yeah. I said, walk forward. And he went. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Your body won't let you come forward into this. Therefore, as you're pushing, you can't grab a hold of me. Yes? Now that I've got your vision, and there are three goals in any self-defense situation, and even though we're doing some of the martial arts and type stuff that we have in the system, we still have the same three goals. Does anybody, who was with me last time I was up here? And you were. I was going to say, I thought I recognized you. Remember what the three goals are, honey? No? no. Disrupt the what? Vision, balance, and breathing. I want to take those away from him. There goes the vision, and I'm not going to hit Sam with this because the last time I did, we were filming and Sam went out. So, But this will take his balance. He's going to have a very hard time regaining and coming back at me now. And before he can, boom. Kneecap to kneecap. If you've never felt that before, if he's still standing, I am amazed. If he's still standing, I'm standing. Because that's a tough dude. <laughs> you take one full on in front of the kneecap, you're still standing up, you're tough. Because that hurts. All right? But Sam is going to want to look. And anytime the man wants to look, that hand's coming. So when I break him down, I want to make sure I keep the vision away from him. But now he can't punch because he can't look, but what does he see? My leg. My leg is there to be grabbed, taken. You understand? And that's what this is all about. That movement there. He can't. Stay back there, please, please, Grab the leg. Uh -huh. All right. Now, <coughs> the circle. Anytime you see me today move in a circle, it has one purpose and one purpose only to know whether I put him on the floor or I keep him up. I might need him. There might be more. So I can't just bury the man, not worry about what's coming up behind me. So as I turn, I'm here. If he's, if, if Darren is Sam's friend, at this point, he's like, yo, tell your boy, keep back, and I'll make him scream by pulling his eyes out of his head so that he would not want any part of this. But I have to have that circular motion in order to check my back. Does everybody understand that? That's basically the breakdown of each of the steps that we're doing here. So I want to try it one more time. And for the little one over here who can't get hit, you can do it this way as well and make it a little bit simpler. It goes back more into the, into the self-defense realm as opposed to the martial arts realm. But it'll put him down, but you can't check, you can't check the back. So you have, there's a trade-off. I get you down quick, but I got no shield. Okay? So when that man's pushing, if you're here, eyes here, when you knee, if you just want to get it down and you're confident there's nobody, throw a knee, throw a, throw a knee, throw a shin. Anytime you throw a knee into the man's body, throw a shin. And just let him go down. Okay? So you can do it that way as well. Yes? yes sir. Anytime you get lost doing this drill, another concept I want you to remember. Strike the closest point. Anytime you get lost, I, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, hit something. Make him react to pain so that you're constantly, don't, I don't care what the pain is. As long as he's in pain, he's reacting, he's not thinking, and he's not in control of his motion anymore. I still am. If he's not in pain, he decides where he moves next. Good? Yes, Let's try it again.